Morning everyone, John from Popeye's Postcards. Today we're going to do, to do our daily what sold video. These are all the sales from December 28th, I believe. Yeah, 28th. And I'll be packing these up this morning. So as you can see on the screen, uh, two seventy ninety five on eBay and on HIP I sold three postcards for a total of $20 and some change. So yesterday was what 110 and today's almost 300. You don't worry about it. It's just the fluctuation of eBay. You know, if your sales are tanking or stagnant, send out offers, do the promoted listings, end and relist. I do all those things. And uh, yesterday I sent out almost 200 offers to watchers so I'm sure that's why my sales kicked up so don't fret don't worry don't whine don't go changing everything just tweak here and there so let's go ahead and get started and uh, let me see this first one is Solomon's Island Maryland barrage balloons sway overhead World War II era seven dollars on a best offer and next we have the boxer check Dempsey it's an ad for Jack Dempsey's restaurant uh, he owned a restaurant I think it was in New York pretty sure it was New York probably owned a couple restaurants and he would uh, sell these postcards in his restaurant and if he was there this is my understanding if he was there he would actually sign it for you these are auto penned printed signatures if he signed it it would be under this signature, this also auto penned printed signature. He would then do another signature here. Very easy to tell. I've seen these cards, this card and other cards with this auto penned signature with people trying to say, hey, this was autographed by him. Now that's an auto pen. His original signature is very distinct if it is actually signed in person you'll you'll see it but anyway eight dollars for that card if that was a real signature 30 to 50 60 dollars something like that that's what his stuff usually goes for this is Goebbels Michigan along the beaches Lake Mill uh, Lake Mill real photo 1930s I was getting hung up on beaches as thinking it was a beach, B-E-A-C-H, instead of beaches as in tree, a beach tree. Anyway, that was $14.99 for that card. Got a whole bunch of these large letter greetings from San Diego, California. These are chromes, and I got them in a big uh, auction from August. Uh, $249 for that card. Okay, next Los Angeles, California, winter scene at Westlake Park, pre-1920s. I don't know why I just didn't write teens, or circa 1910s. Uh, 5 dollars for that card. This is Glen, New Hampshire, Old Woman in Shoe, Storyland Park, circa 1950s. So one of those many amusement parks that had uh, Mother Goose type Stories built into attractions, $4.99. Two boys playing shooting marbles, circa 1910s. No idea where I got this from. Uh, $4.99. West Virginia, New Creek, Devil's Saddle, Allegheny Mountain, real photo. Looks like I have several of these. Uh, $9.74. Patriotic Decoration Day, G-A-R, Metal, Civil War, Soldiers, Flag, Nash. Very nice condition. It's almost so nice that it could almost, it almost has the feel of a reproduction, but it's embossed, um, and it just, when you look at it closer, it, it, it has the age and not a 1970s or 80s Merrimack. Uh, repro it, it has that look but it's not uh, this sold for $17.99 and if you're not aware decoration day morphed into Memorial Day uh, yeah 
This is Torrington uh, Conley Inn, old cars, circa 1920s. This is Connecticut. They must have stayed in that room right there. And accepted a best offer of five bucks. Morro Bay, California, Harborview Motor, Lodge, Vintage, Linen. Probably could have fit Motel in there. I've always done pretty well with these Morro Bay cards. Uh, $5.99. I think I went over this one yesterday. $3 for that Christmas. And I think the reason it's popping back up again is the same buyer bought these next cards also. And it just combined them into one order. Uh, let me see. Merry Christmas Tide, Child, Holly on Stick. Artist sign, clap saddle, right above my head. You see clap saddles, signature, four ninety nine. Has some condition issues. And here's a joyous Christmas tide, angel holly, circa nineteen fifteen. So here we're a couple of days after Christmas, and Christmas cards are still selling. Oh, uh, was that five ninety nine? Five ninety nine. Baseball player Walter Johnson painting Coffeeville, Kansas Museum. So this is just a postcard of a painting of this baseball player. Have a whole bunch of these. Got them for pennies in the auction in August. $3.99. First one of these that's sold. Sparta, New Jersey. Looking north from entrance. Sparta Glen, circa 1908. And it's sold for $11.99. Next, Muir Woods entrance, Marin County, California, real photo, Nineteen late 1940s, early 50s by the EKC, that's uh, Eastman Kodak Company, $5.99 for that card. This is Buffalo, New York, two panel, panoramic, Larkin Company factory, there's a nice so it's two panels just stuck together and they fold. $12.99 for that card. Um, you could put in there folding or folder. No, not folder, I would say folding. No, oh, missed out on that offer. $12.99 for that card. Harrison Fisher, 1908, The Kiss, Man Kissing Woman. So Harrison Fisher, probably 10 to 15 years ago, uh, before all the postcard collectors started dying off. Harrison Fisher, you could probably get a hundred plus dollars for his cards. Just one of those very collectible um, artists. And the market has definitely softened a lot on these. I probably could have gotten more. There is some damage uh, down there, right here. But anyway, 850 on a best offer. It had been up for... Oof months months and months next this is a vintage postcard red robe santa wall plaque so someone had glued this santa postcard on a wooden plaque i actually found this at goodwill uh, one of the very few postcards i was able to ever able to find at goodwill listed for 9.99 but free shipping so i'll end up making maybe a buck or two on this i think it was 99 cents several years ago but just that was interesting uh, uh, someone turned a postcard into a christmas uh wall decoration so 9.99 might even actually been the best offer of 7.99 anyway uh first erie railroad this is uh railroad train honesdale uh locomotive 310 historical these are those reprints from the honesdale uh wayne county pa historical society I routinely sell these five to seven dollars. It's from the there's a canal D and H D and H. I can't remember what the D stands. Delaware and Honesdale or Hudson Canal, maybe. Anyway, good off that subject. Uh, Ocean City, Maryland skyline and beach view three seventy five. Best offer nineteen probably sixties or seventies. Next Hershey. Pennsylvania Chocolate Town Amusement Park Skyview Gondola Ride 699 
I always pick up amusement parks. Doesn't matter which one it is or where it's located. U.S. Navy Ship Cruiser USS Olympia 1907. Horrible condition issues. And someone offered me $5 and I took it. Crumbsville, Pennsylvania Skyview Restaurant circa 1960s. Maybe late 50s. $6.99 on that one. Sea Island, Georgia, the Cloister Hotel, circa 1930s, hand colored. Albert type, and went for $6.99. Ellenville, New York, the Neville, or New Valley. Mm -hmm. Country Club, mini speedboats on Lake, sold for $8.49. Seven, let me see, this is uh, Charlestown, West Virginia, Jefferson County Courthouse. I used to work there many many years ago 750 Sausalito California marbles store clothing accessories jewelry so this is an advertising card for this store got a whole stack of these uh, they're like six inches wide but only like three inches tall really kind of an odd shape for a postcard a little shorter Anyway, $249 for that card. Uh, next two went to the same buyer, Norristown, Pennsylvania, Nurses Home, State Hospital. So again, anytime you see uh, State Hospital on a card, nine times out of ten, they are insane asylums. I did not work that into the title, mostly because this is the Nurses Home. If this was the main building, I probably worked, would have worked in uh, a sane asylum. And I did not. Oh, this is the same view. Just a different uh, colored. This is a colored version. $12.99 for this one of the Pennsylvania Nurses Home. World War II Soldier Ships Portal. Buy more war bonds. Soldiers mail. World War II buy war bonds soldiers mail I don't know why I put soldiers mail on here because soldiers mail would be free you wouldn't have to have a stamp they would just write free here and they would have to have their uh, military information their serial number ser service or serial number on there so I must have just copied this title from another uh, another listing Anyway, $5.99 for that card. Conneaut, Ohio, 1912 View Public Library. There's that. $4.99. Next, Cunard, Cunard White Star RMS Steamship Line SS Baltic Steamer Ship. Rough condition, but still $25.99 for that card. And over on HIP sold three Disneyland cards, all to the same buyer. This is Disneyland Chicken of the Sea Pirate Ship Fantasyland. Right there. So keep an eye out for down here at the bottom, CCC. And there's another one, III. And it's pretty much the first postcards from Disneyland. This is Disneyland Tomorrowland. Bobsled Ride. E11. Now that E11 is up here in a stamp box there is a site out there that uh, will tell you the rarity and the estimated value of your Disneyland cards uh, if I remember I'll put the link in the bottom in the description in the description but I'm running running behind today I slept in so I want to get this video out and the last one Disneyland Tomorrowland Pan panoramic view that's all I wrote, panoramic view, and then the card number. Anyway, uh, $5.99 for that one. So as you can see, sales increased almost three times overnight. I didn't panic, not fretting about it, and had a good day of sales. So if uh, you get anything out of this, uh, any value out of this uh, video, leave me a comment below. 
And you can always support the channel by buying me a coffee or using the affiliate links to get your postcard supplies. As always, thank you for watching.